Hello everybody, this is Mateo, and we are going in here. Just because, if I remember correctly, one of these guys has an HM for us just randomly hidden right here. Yep, HMO4 strength. Kind of odd how you get it here of all places, but alright then. Ah well, that's another very good HM move. One of three in this game, the other ones being Surf and Waterfall. And Fly is pretty good as well, although not so much in battle, but it has an amazing out-of-field effect. Or out-of-battle effect, I guess. But yeah, so we got Strength right there, it's a normal type move of about 80 base power, so it works out pretty well for a lot of Pokémon, a lot of Pokémon can learn it. And it's just a pretty good normal type for all of them. Also, f f I think, yeah, Slowpoke, learn how to surf. Way to go, we're gonna be riding the waves and this ocean river thing. Not Definitely not a river, probably closest to an ocean. But yeah, we're gonna be riding this ocean on a Slowpoke that looks like a Lapras. Oh boy. And, oh boy, that guy in his pose, alright then. Well, get used to Tentacle for a short while because they're going to be showing up quite a bit. Um, luckily, we have Drowsy, and he finally has a Psychic-type move, although it doesn't do that much, because Tentacle's kind of a wall, and Drowsy isn't that great. See, it, it's just taking so many hits. At least they fixed Constrict in this game so that it, it doesn't waste your turns. Instead, it just does extra damage at the end of the battle. So, that's nice at the very least. It could have been a whole lot worse. But luckily, it wasn't. Okay, so here we go, we should be getting near- did- did he actually do more damage with Pound? Yeah, he definitely did. I should just be using Pound all this time I was waiting for that Psychic-type move, when all of a sudden, turns out that Pound does a lot more damage. For whatever reason. Maybe that's just against Tentacle, it's a bit of a special wall, I believe. And that kind of proves it a little bit more. Oh well. Okay, gonna use some potions, just cuz. We are going to raise up Drowsy and Spiro at least. Maybe they'll evolve in this video. Spiro's getting really close, actually. We're also taking Togepi along because that one actually does evolve with happiness. So that's a thing to make note of. And then also Slowpoke is coming along as well because he can surf. And, you know, whatever, why not. Okay, this lady, Paula... Um, has a star U, which is just a normal water type, unlike its evolved form, which is water psychic. Water psychic seems like it would be like, um, oh god, you're gonna do that. Water psychic seems like it would be a unique typing, but there are just so many Pokemon from the first gen that have that typing. I mean, there's Starmie, Slowbro, and Slowpoke. Um, I want to say that there's at least one more, but I can't currently think of it. Um, yeah, I can't think of it. But, I mean, you think that it would be one of those Pokémon that has only one type light, one Pokémon like that type. Like, um, uh, Joltik and Galvantula, they're the only Bug Electric types. Or Volcarona and Larvesta, they're the only Bug Fire types. So, I don't know. Uh, Shelter's a meh Pokémon, just hit it with a special attack and it will go down easily. A Roar Beam, that's kind of bad because it's super effective. Luckily, Shelter is a defensive Pokémon. And a man one at that. I mean, it has really high defense, but its special defense is complete and total crap, and I think its HP isn't that great either. And its other stats are meh. Hey, do you have a... no. <laughs> oh man, that sounded really bad. He asked, like, are you raising your Pokémon properly? And I'm just like, nope. But I was actually saying n nope to my own question, where I was gonna ask him if he had a Firestone for me. So, yeah, that was kind of really bad. <laughs> Oh boy, Alan's never going to give me a Firestone. That's just great. Okay, healing up some more damage. Most of the time, you're just going to be finding tentacles in the ocean here. However, in the next route of this ocean, you can find a Mantine as well, which is a really neat water flying type Pokemon that I'm probably going to use in my next Heart Gold playthrough whenever that happens, which will be whenever I finish Fire Red. But I've been playing Fire Emblem more than Fire Red. So, yeah, that's just a thing. Uh, this guy has another Shelter, which Drowsy can take down rather easily. Of course, he gets the second turn Crit, which is completely useless. And Wartortle, he has an interesting Pokémon. This is the evolved form of the Water Starter Squirtle. And it takes damage like a champ. 
And for whatever reason, I'm still going through with this, even though it's using Bite, which is super effective and does like 19 damage. So I'm, what I'm guessing is that at this point, I just kind of gave up on Drowsy. Nope. So I'm trying to get him all that experience so he can get all that much closer to evolving. Despite the fact that he's weak against this guy, probably should have tried Hypnosis or something. That might have helped out. Ah, uh, well, luckily it's slow, so I can just barely net the victory on that one. Get 612 experience points, ba barely not leveling up there. Ah, yeah, well, we only have, like, three more levels for him, so... Yeah, that's alright. Okay, let's just finish this up, and here we go. Now it's only two more levels till evolving. There we go, very nice. Okay, so, that is sign. Just the water routes... I don't know how I feel about them. Like, after Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald, I am not the biggest fan of them whatsoever. Um, oh, hey, a tentacle. We finally found one, or rather, I finally was able to catch one and wasn't just killing it immediately. So yeah, while we're doing this, I am not a big fan of water routes, especially after how um, Hoenn was half water. I mean, it made sense with the theme they had going on with that game, like land versus water. So they should have had half and half. But they had so many choices for water Pokemon to put in there, and to give to the trainers as well. And yet, they only used, like, five of them consistently, rather than the 50 that they had as options. I don't, those are made up numbers mostly, but they're basically proportional. They only used about a tenth of their options in terms of water Pokemon to put there. It's just kind of annoying because, I mean, they had Huntail and Gorbis, um, like, released in that generation. So, you mean, you'd think that they'd have a trainer with a Huntail and Gorbis or whatever, but it is never, it does, it never, ever appears in the water. Anywhere, like not in the wild, which kind of makes sense because it's an evolution, trade evolution, no less. But not even a trainer has it. So, it's just. I don't know, I just don't really like the water in that game, and it just kind of ruined water routes for me overall. Especially how in these earlier games, it's like nothing but Tentacool. And Tentacruel, I guess. But for the most part, it's just all the same, and nothing interesting in these water routes. I mean, they've gotten better about it, and there aren't as many water routes. I think they finally learned from their mistakes in that regards. But still, it's just the occasional water route is alright, but having half a game of water where you're not going to be utilizing all the possibilities that you could be utilizing in terms of Pokemon there, that that's pretty bad in my opinion. If they do make the Ruby Sapphire remix, which I... I'm, I am pretty much completely sure that they're going to do that after Pokemon X and Y. That's the next step. Um, but after, once they make those games, the Ruby Sapphire Remix, I hope that they put more Pokemon into the water sections and give some trainers Huntail and Gorbis instead of the 18th Goldeen in the area or whatever. People who've played the game will know what I'm talking about, that's for sure. Okay, Spiro evolving, becoming a Fearow. He's alright. Kind of a neat Pokemon, but nothing that I would really use. I mean, he's neat looking, but... I don't know. I'm not that interested in him. And he has, like, a broken neck for eternity, just by the way. So you're gonna have to care for that. And all of a sudden, I found this here Mantine. Just randomly surfing, I guess. For whatever reason unknown. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, Mantine is a, better, a bit of a wall, I do believe, and interestingly enough about him is that he actually has a Remoraid under him. I used to think that Remoraid actually evolved into Mantine because of this instead of Octillery. I didn't really kn know that Octillery existed. This was before I, like, fully knew Pokemon, or at least as much as I do. So I didn't know that Mantine, or o Octillery even existed, and I just thought that Remoraid evolved into Mantine. Which didn't make sense to me, because... Well, it shouldn't have made sense, because Colosseum was actually the very first time that I saw Remoraid, and I caught it, and then, like, immediately afterwards, I saw Mantine, because he's, like, the very next battle. I'm saying like a lot, by the way. I apologize. But he's the very next battle, and it's like, oh, hey, look, it's Remoraid's evolved form. Why are they giving it to me already? And so I didn't catch that one, I think. I don't really remember. 
But yeah, for whatever reason, that did not, like, that, oh crap, that did not click in my head and made me, make me think, oh wait, Mantine is a separate Pokemon. A similar thing happened with Mischievous and Sneasel, where I caught Mischievous and I was like, alright, cool, this is a neat looking Pokemon. And then I saw Sneasel, and I failed in catching it. And I looked at my team and saw Mischievous, and I was like, Mischievous looks a lot like Sneasel. Maybe Mischievous evolves into Sneasel. Uh, but no, that is also a falsification. So, yet again, that didn't click in my head, saying, wait, no, they're two separate Pokémon. But, you know, whatever. So now, if we could catch this here, man time, that'd be great. There we go. Okay, that's great. Okay. So, register that. Not going to use you, unfortunately, Mantine, but I will sometime soon in the future. I thought about using him in my most recent, um, Pokemon Coliseum playthrough that I'm in the middle of right now. But I decided to go for, um, Remoraid instead, just cause. And also, now, after a call from Fisherman Ralph that I just had to show for whatever reason, Drowsy is going to evolve into Hypno. And we are going to put him in the box before he tries things, like lure people, lure children into a cave or something like that, and tie them up. Okay, so that's that guy. He evolves at level 26, as I am now showing off. He also learns Headbutt naturally, which is very nice for the trees. So you can go ahead and catch all those tree Pokemon, which I still have yet to do. It's surprisingly late. Normally I do that. Okay, and now starting back up with that guy again. These are the World Islands, it'll be a while before we explore these, just by the way. But we're gonna continue heading on left, because that is where our next generate er, uh, next generation, our next destination is. The World Islands are a bit of a side quest area that we can't do until later anyways, but there is a legendary Pokemon there that we're gonna wanna catch later on. I think I'm pretty much gonna do all the legendary Pokemon at the end of the game. Alright. Yes, I am still out late. This is like the only time that I- <sighs> Crap. This is the only time that I have to play this game, woman. Yeah. Arr, you're not my mom. I don't even- Where am I going with this? I don't know. That was really odd, but okay. So, we're just gonna change up the box and actually show this on screen for whatever reason. While this, the sound is massively desynced, I apologize. It happens. But, I, I still don't know what it is, it's just so weird. In my last time, I have changed nothing from my, how I recorded it last time, and yet, it still freaks out like this. You'd think that it would stay the same as last time, where it didn't desync whatsoever. Ah oh well. Okay, so there's this guy right here, he, his Pokemon was actually stolen by a kid with red hair, and I think we know who that is. And, well, you come in here, talk to him, and he'll give us a Pokemon. And you can catch this Pokemon normally. Or you could also get it this way and just get it for free. And it also comes with an item which I believe is Berry. Yeah, just a Berry. And his original trainer was named Mania. Oh man, what kind of parents did you have naming their kid Mania? Now watch, somebody's going to be named Mania, I'm sure. Just like apparently somebody was named Levere. And I said, what kind of a person, like, who would be named Levere when I named my rival in Pokemon Yellow? But apparently, as far as I know, or at least as the comments said, there was somebody. So, with that, and 